So my couple of tips now is doing those calendar events straight from an email, but you can actually do it also on the web and it's probably a little bit quicker on the web. Now we're live on our screen. So I've got some emails sitting in here and I'm going to come down to one from Sam, which is somewhere. Maybe she will send me one. Let's come to my focus one. There we go. This one's this one for Sam. So this one for Sam that I need to do something about. And she sent it to me. Um, and so what I would like to do is instead of putting it into my to-do list, I want to set aside time in my day to do it. So I'm just going to come and grab it, come across to the right-hand side here first, open up my little calendar thingy, calendar or to-do, it doesn't really matter which one I've got. I'm going to come down to my email from Sam, just hold it down with my mouse, you can just drag it across, and I've got two options, one to add it as an event, or B, to add it as a task. Now, I'm going to add it as an event, and what it does is it'll pop out a window like this, which is very similar to the one that Sam showed you. And it's all ready to rock and roll, it's just going to say, this is what it's going to be, we're all good to go, Whoops, um, Sam's just sent me an email about cake. So in here, it's brought it in and it's got all the options to do for a normal event inside your calendar. It asks you what calendar you want to pop it in. Um, it gives you the name of it, which comes straight from the email. It also says all these times that they are suggested. And you might be thinking, why has it got these suggested times here? Because by default, it grabs the person or people who were included in that email trail. So make it you're in a group of people and you've got a, a project that you're doing, there's 16 of you in that group that are working on that project. It's just an email that's come out to everyone saying, hey, how are we going on the project? Are we going to be ready by the 20th of September? And you suddenly go, oh my goodness, I've got to do something about that. So you drag it out of your inbox, throw it into your calendar for, you know, you're going to do it on the, on the 12th. It's all cool, you're ready to roll. And you just leave it like that. But what happens is it automatically sends an invite to everyone who's in the email. So they get invited to uh, an event that you've got set up. Now, um, one person in this call who's talking to you now might have actually done that to a whole group of people, not realizing it, and then started getting all these questions about why I'm organizing a meeting. Because I didn't realize that it automatically invited absolutely everyone who's in the email. So what you need to do is I need to cross Sam out of there so then there's no invitees. I can then work out my time. I can come in here. I can drag it down to there if I want to. Oops, that's the one I want there. Let's grab it around here. Let's move it down a little bit. I can change my times in here. That looks a bit better. I can also adjust my time zones. I can repeat it if I need to. And you'll notice in here, what it does is it gives me the context of the email from Sam in, in the actual event as well. Same as what it did um, in um what the one that sam showed the only difference is that this isn't actually a link back to the email it's just a copy of it so just be aware of that if i then go save all done dusted i've now got it sitting in my calendar i don't know where i put it oh there it is there so it's sitting in my calendar here so if i opened up calendar that's where it would be living there as well 